Hello, I'm Kiyo Hasegawa. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to mount washi paper on a wooden board. This is a process to prevent washi from wrinkling because we use a lot of water when painting Nihonga. These are what you need. A sized washi paper, which is called dosabiki washi, a wooden panel. It should be a smaller size than your washi. A brush. It's easier when you have a big one. Starch glue. In Japan, you can get it in a 100 yen shop. A dish or a palette to put glue in. A towel, one dried and one wet. And water in a bucket or a bowl. If you have a large paper, you need to cut it first. You don't have to be precise. Make sure that your washi paper is big enough to cover the sides. Wipe the surface of the wooden panel with a wet towel to remove resin and dust. I usually coat the surface with gesso or paper to prevent resin, but if you are a beginner you can skip that. Put water evenly to the back of the washi. If you look at the washi carefully, the smooth side is the front, the fluffy side is the black. When you buy washi at a shop, they roll the paper the front inside. While waiting the water to permeate, put the glue on the sides of the wooden panel. You don't need to put the glue on the whole surface. If the corner of the washi is becoming dried, add some water. Flip your paper, place it in the middle of the wooden panel, then gently push the air out from the center to the edges. It's better to use a towel here so that the surface of the paper doesn't fray. Especially you have to be careful to treat the corner. Pull it gently toward the edge. Then fold the corner like this. Dry your panel on a flat place. This might take half a day depending on the size. Once it dries, you can cut the extra paper. Stick the corner with glue. Then you're finished. There are other ways to mount your paper on a wooden panel, but today I showed you the most basic way. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.